it's it's like very many of the cases I've been involved in is at the end of the day it's the community from which they come and I think meeting them on each occasion in each case is always very different and totally captivating and it's a learning process for me because you learn about communities of which you haven't been a member and you realize that each of them has the same motivation of combination acting collectively and making a difference but I think the authorities and the establishment always hope that any challenge will evaporate because the people who make it will in the end lack determination stamina resources and give up that's how they manage to stay in power it is by dividing ruling and carrying on in the hope that people will back away so I think where that doesn't happen you make progress because the groups that keep together and persist in the end they outlive those who've been in opposition because those who've been in authority can't hang on forever and so if you can outlast that then you can make the differences and on the way you're setting agendas for other people who will follow the example <laughs> ever since I've been coming I've never understood the British are very good at what I call partition and it never works whether it's you know uh, Pakistan's an obvious example, but there are other places in the world, the Middle East in particular, where the answer has always been in British colonial terms, partition. doesn't work. It's artificial. And as far as I'm concerned, you know, it, it's always seemed to me as a unit, politically and elsewhere, certainly culturally, Ireland is a unit and should be treated like this. It's a wonderful opportunity for the people north and south to say, well, never mind what they're arguing about. We want this. South, the South wants to be part of Europe, and the North wants to be part of Europe. And I, I want to be part of Europe as well. I mean, it's all mad, sort of being, uh, you know, so wedded to our localities that you don't think beyond the boundaries. So for me, the Irish experience is about um, a cultural experience, and I think also they have, a, you know, the Irish have a wonderful sense of history wonderful sense of humour to go with it. Uh, but that combination is unbeatable.